So I want to record a quick video and yes, I'm wearing a bow tie, uh, just working from home, change of pace, no questions asked. Um, just wanted to uh, talk about program adjustments and um, um, positions, uh, like home positions and, and, and stuff like that and stuff like that in this video. Um, say you're running a job and I got a simple job here and you can see it running. It's just going to go. So let me hit uh, edit and enter, hit yes, uh, enter. And hit um, you know edit simple job here you know it's just not it's not a fancy job it's just basically it's going to demonstrate um, just going out and back out and back out and back and you can see that's all it is it's going like boo doo doo you know out and back out and back out and back okay let's pretend for an instance that maybe we're on a live production line and we see that this out and this out and back motion is is starting to drift a little bit because things drift or maybe the fixture that is supposed to be working on um got hit or something and instead of taking the whole line down and touching up a position and it, that we know exactly how much it's off by well we can do something called a program adjustment so just to demonstrate i'm going to put this in i'm going to turn off my teach pendant and i'm going to go ahead and put this in automatic mode in robo guide So I hit the cycle start, and you can see I'm in automatic mode. And you can see this line is basically forming um, right there for us, and this is its motion profile. All right, just to make it basic L. Okay, I can click on look, and I'm in look mode, and I can go into menu, and under um, setup, oh, sorry, utility, sorry, I'm thinking of something else, but program adjustment, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do shift and double, do a double display. Okay. And I'm going to hit edit, just go back to my job. And I can see the lines of my job. Let me go ahead and hit menu and utilities, program adjustment. And I can go and set up program adjustments for this job that I can put in temporarily while it runs so that downtime I can still do, I don't have to take the robot down. Um, hit detail and I can go, you know. Here's my, you know, current schedule number two, even if I go back, you know, here's my, you know, it's on what the program is. So it's program adjust, the current program. So if I go in to hit uh, detail here, I can say what line I'm starting on. So, you know, because maybe I only want to adjust one or two lines. I don't want to do the whole job. So I'm going to just say, just for fun, um, let's go through and do three, four, uh, basic lines, uh, seven through 10, for instance. So starting line one and 10. The other thing is to tell me what offset, uh, what, what I want to make things relative to, my user frame or my tool frame. So if I go to choice, you'll see user or tool. That's why it's important to use frames. Because if I know if I'm in a frame, if I'm, uh, if I'm drifting, I can make a better educated guess of how far to go or how to go far, you know. But like I'm gonna do like I'm gonna go tool frame. So because say I want to get closer to something, again, Z positive goes to the part, Z minus goes away from the part. So say I want to go closer to the part, I can go in and just put in a 20 millimeter adjustment. Okay. Now it limits you on how much you can do. So if I try to put in 50 here, C it's gonna say out of range. So, so it won't let you do that much. And, um, and this is only a temporary adjustment. So if I hit enable, watch what happens to the line here. It should give me a, see right there, went to the new line and now it's lower. So there's my program adjustment. But see, I didn't, I missed, I, I stopped it at, at 10, 11. So it's going back to that one first position. But so you can see this first line up here is what it was. The second line down here is what it is now. So, and by the way, it's in the middle of the grippers, but that's, but I can disable and you can see it go back to normal once it runs that job again. See, it's going back to normal. Okay. And if I want to come in here and adjust this to a negative 20, and I can adjust the degree of rotation slightly. So let me change this to 15. Oh, can't only oh, half degree. So, so half degree change. I forgot. I was thinking, yeah, half degree change. I forgot it was degree. So now if I hit enable, it's updating. 
and the, the degree change will be a little bit different because we're not there, but you can see it's up higher. It may be a slightly more an angle. And we can go in here and do this too. We can do 20 millimeters here and and it's and enable it. And now you should see that there's some shift. See, you can see it's going, you can see the line difference up here because we've shifted a Z and an X. Okay, so use this ever, and this is relative to the tool frame, by the way. So use this ever sparingly, and I can disable and I go back to normal. And I can have different schedules. I can have different schedules and different lines that I utilize, and you can see the difference, and I'm back to normal. Okay, a couple other things. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go turn this. I'm gonna stop this. <coughs> I'm gonna stop this. Come on, you can stop. Yep, now we're stopped. And I'm going to go into menu and setup. This is where I was thinking earlier. Under program setup, and let me go back to shift and um, single display. So turn off shift, menu, and uh, uh, setup, and program select. This is where I can do home checks and resume position challenge checks and other things in this in, in this manner now what i found in robo guide doesn't work very well but this is where if i want something to check if it's in a, in a home position before it starts this is where i would enable that and i can en enable that when it's in run or i can disable it um i can prompt if there's a failure or post an error if there's a failure or you know all this other fun stuff that i can do but notice um, it won't let me do the check when resume because I'm in a simulation. Um, but I can do this in here, and this will allow me to make sure the robot's at home before I do certain things. And uh, you know, and you can. And, but the question is, how do I know it's at home? This is where in setup we can create reference positions. So right now this is enabled, and it's not. And I can call this home. I can go to detail, and look, it gives me a rough setup of what my home position is. So if I move this. So we turn on the teach pendant. If I move this, you can see, if I go back out and move this to the right position. Or let me just run the job because it won't show up in the job. So uh, menu, go back to setup, uh, setup, reference position. And this should go true unless do I have that uh, position, sorry, utilities, position adjust, disabled, let me show you, so, so previous, so if I run this, or if I go to my menu, and if I go to setup, and reference position, you know, is this about home true? You enable, it should go there. It should be like right around here. Um, let me put this in auto mode and let me go through this because it was working earlier. Um, am I out too far? It could be, but you, but if I wanted to, let me just, let me just, um, if I hit detail and then I hit record, this will give a rough joint setup for the for a, a home position. And if I and I can set up what output signal I want this to turn on. So when I'm in home, I can send that signal to a PLC or safety circuit say, yes, it's in a safe home. I can say if it's a true a valid home or not, um, because you don't want every reference position to be a home because that'll get confused. But now I'm in this position. If I if and if I go into my I/O um, input output type oops, type um, digital, you can see it's at home. If I jog the robot slightly, it's off. Okay. And if I just kind of hit it a little bit, it should get me close. There it is. I'm back at home. So that's a fun little, and you can do other reference positions too um, through your setup. 
So you don't have to just do a home. You could say, you know, pick position or safe position because that way it will turn on an output anytime it's in that position. So, because all this is a help for monitoring and, and cell communication so that the robot, maybe a PLC will know exactly where the robot is at all times so that, you know, if the robot is in this zone yet yeah, or in this area, uh, not to do something or just be aware of it. So, and you can set up reference positions and big boxes, you know, so that may be another video that I talk through, but, um, but this is just a reference position because, uh, now, so, um, hope this was helpful. And that's all I got today.